the moment the Holy Spirit begins to initiate a protocol, maybe you are speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, speaking in tongues, and then instantly, the Holy Spirit in your spirit man begins to sing a song. Stop speaking in tongues. Take advantage of the power that is in his mind. That song is a vehicle. It's a, it's a means of transportation. It is designed to take you to another place, another place, pedestal. It is designed to give you access to another possibility. So as you are praying and praying, you are listening on what the Holy Spirit is pouring out into your vessel. And then the moment he begins to pour something out, you leave what you are doing and you hop on, on his vehicle. And then that vehicle will transport you to where the things you seek reside. Be strong. I know people that will be praying in tongues and then the Holy Spirit begins to move within their vessel. Even though they are discerning it, they believe that it is superior for them to remain praying in tongues. It means that you have denied the power that came, the vehicle that came to actualize your hopes. So a spiritual man is a man that knows when the vehicle of the Spirit of God switches on and he stops every other activity to allow the Holy Spirit to guide him. The reason why there's a prescription, be strong in the Lord, is still because of substitution. Because on the strength of substitution, you no longer have a life. Your life is dead. The reality that is left now is his life. And that's where your context is. That's where your strength must be drawn from. How many of us know if, when the Holy Ghost stands up, he's standing? He's standing in you. Do you know that experience? Because you have not yet explored what it means to be strong in the Lord. You live your life in the mundane from the strength of your intellect, your calculation. I assure you, even though you might be a great guy, you are living off your least potential. And it will interest you to know that if you are faced with a situation that is orchestrated from the realm of the spirit, you will be no match. No match. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his mind. Do you know the experience of the Holy Spirit allowing you to see through him? Do you know when you are in transport, spiritual transport, do you know what, you know what that experience is? Do you know what it means when the Holy Spirit gives you capacity to discern personalities in the spirit. You can have a discussion with an angel. Do you know what it means? You can, Joel, you and Joel can talk, have a discussion. You and Paul can have a discussion. Do you, do you know what it means? Do you know the experience? Do you know how it feels in the spirit? Now, how do you intend to get ahead of Satan when you are not abreast with the spiritual experiences of the strength into which you have been rooted? Be strong in the Lord. You will, you will see people like Zachariah in the book of Luke chapter 1 having a discussion with an angel. When last did you have a discussion? It will interest you to know that if you are born again and you've been in the Lord for a while, I can say that 90% um, of us in this place have had angelic encounters before. But the point is, you didn't know it was an encounter. Because you are not strong in the power that is in mind, is in his mind. You don't have access to the spiritual knowledge that will give you the confirmation of spiritual things so that you can know them for what they are. As long as you are limited in this dimension of education, you will be incompetent, incapacitated in very practical situations. I was 
preparing for this conference that we just finished. Pray, 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 pray. So, the number two man, my number two man, now calls me. He's the only him and my wife and my son, Philip. They are the only ones that can make me attend to them on that such to record. So I knew it was an emergency. I said, what is this? Why are you disturbing my life? Go and solve your problem. He said, sorry. This is our pastor. This is our younger pastor. His mom came to visit him so that she can attend the conference and she's dying. I said, oh my God. And jumped into my car. I went there. I saw our Bible school people were praying. Praying on her. Seriously. I was aware of the fact that if I joined the prayer, we will pray till evening. What I needed was not the ability to pray. What I needed was the insight. So as they were praying, I was trying to find out what is going on in this place. Then I discovered that it was a family issue. I discovered that her sisters had access to spiritual power. And they wanted to cut her off that day. Why that day? I don't know. I said, ah. He said, your sisters want you down. She said, she's aware of it. So I didn't go into the details. So I asked, is it, are you people dragging land? What is the problem? What? No, no, no need for that. Then the next insight is, okay, how do we, because that's word of knowledge. What I needed thereafter, after she confirmed that my word of knowledge was right, is word of wisdom. What is the, the people were still praying. <laughs> I didn't join them. Uh, then when the word of wisdom came, I had missed it. The prayer they were praying for since morning, in 20 minutes we have stopped, we have ended that thing. Then I gave her a prophecy that in six hours, when you put your leg on the ground, it will be, you'll be okay. So I entered the car again, I ran away. Now, if you come and join them praying like that, eh? that prayer that has, you don't, your senses, spiritual senses are not operational. That's what someone that is not strong in the Lord will do. So, since you are not strong in the Lord, you cannot, you don't understand the handle of the Holy Ghost. So, you, your prayer may not even be able to change anything. I ran back to my closet and continued my prayer. Continue my prayer. Continue my prayer. Hallelujah. Came back from a trip. Saw our pastors. Praying for someone that was that had a mental health challenge. And they were they've been praying. So I came there. I looked at them and I pitied them. Because if this, <laughs> if this is all you can do in this circumstance, it is a proof that you are not strong in the Lord. The moment I entered there, I checked. He said, no. Before you can help her spiritually, take her to the hospital. So I gave the woman money. I said, take her. They injected her, she slept first day, slept second day, because she wasn't talking. Third day, she started talking. I said, okay, bring her. Then we began to engage. Then she now told me the things she didn't tell any of them, because she wasn't talking. Then we trapped the spirit in a discussion. Not, no, in a discussion. So if you come, when you come, you will see one of the girls on the camera. That's the girl. The demon has been arrested. 
be strong in the Lord. It is substitution that made our strength to be in the Lord. Because the testimony of the Christian life on the basis of substitution is not change, it's exchange. It is only in substitution you can say like Paul in the book of Galatians chapter 2 verse 20. It is no longer I that I, it is. So I draw my wisdom, I draw and my response to situations is not from me. I wait for him. I desire him. I desire. That's why you need to build intimacy with God. Are you there? Mm, you are not there. You are not there. I want us to do practicals today. So the lecture has ended. So we are in number two now. The reason why you need to build intimacy with God is because of the day of trouble. If you, if you have him as a friend, and you know to build intimacy, it takes effort. You wake up in the morning, you begin to talk to him. And you pray in tongues, you pray in tongues, when you pray in tongues for like 45 minutes, one hour, your spirit opens. Right, and if you have not been praying for a long time, you will need two hours because your spirit eh, is sleeping just like Jesus slept in the boat. Jesus can sleep in your life, so you need like two hours. And in those two hours, your soul will be noisy. Say, Ah, yo, God, yo, God, yo, God, vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. Kaika <laughs> Sila Montelli. You just remember that ah, you, you should send this person a text. Send the person a text. Send the person. Send the text. Send the text. Send all those all, all of that noise is inside them. And that's why if you want to get serious, sometimes you will need to give somebody your phone and then lock the let the person lock the door from outside, so that there's no hope of yielding to that noise. That noise is the barrier of the flesh. The flesh doesn't want you to experience life from the other side. Doesn't. Doesn't want you to experience life from the other side. And so when you cross that barrier, then you enter into a quiet space. That quiet space, you pray in tongues for like one hour, for like two hours, is quiet. There's no response. When you hit the third hour, then symbols will begin to appear. That's why strong men normally minimum they digest three hours of prayer a day. That's minimum. You don't have anything, you don't have any preaching, you don't have any just just to live life. Three hours. You will invest in your spirit if you are going to make a mark in life. Life is not natural. If by by your brain, by what you studied in Harvard. You, you become a billionaire. I'm assuring you that if you switch on your spirit, you'll become a billionaire in, in a, a multi billionaire. In your flesh, you have your least potential, but in your spirit, you have your greatest potential. So I labor for intimacy so that when I come into a situation that needs a response, I, I talk to my friend, I say, I know how to, to, I know what to do to my heart. I know how to angulate it for me to hear him. So increase your volume now. My message has finished. We need to do practice. If you cannot call his hand in, you cannot do that now. You are not a strong man. If you cannot call him in now and he will respond to you, you have invested in the wrong thing. And you will never know until the day of trouble. That evil day that demons, that witches ganged up together against your destiny. That's the day you will know whether you're, you were investing in the right thing. Because the Bible says that he that falls in the day of adversity, adversity will come. Adversity is not necessarily bad. It is, it is a revealer. It means you are strong in the wrong thing. You are strong in gossip instead of prayer. 
You are strong in the knowledge that is in your soul instead of the knowledge that is in your spirit. I wanted to be a man of knowledge. It was later that Jesus now gave me insight. The reason why I didn't allow you to go into lecturing. I know how you like knowledge, but I wanted you to have the excellent knowledge. And I worship him for it till this day. If you can't call him and he responds to you, it means you don't have intimacy with him. You don't talk to him. Other things are more important to you than talking to him. I can take a walk and just discuss with him and just talk with him. And then he now begins to tell me, okay, that person you prayed for that nothing happened. This is why. I will go back and write it down because I'm a researcher. I need to build a body of truth that I can use to instruct people. I said, the other one you prophesied on. And instead of the person waking up from that sick bed, the person died. Listen to me. If you can put away shame this morning, you will be helped. I said that because I see a woman with the issue of blood. You've been releasing blood. You've been releasing blood. You've been releasing blood. And God wants that fountain of blood to cease. But you see, I, I need to touch you. This one, I need to touch you. So, oh woman, if you are here, come. Make Jesus your friend. Lord, in the name of Jesus, let that fountain dry up. Dry up. Yeah, in Jesus' name. When you call him, if he, if he doesn't respond, he doesn't know your voice. You've not yet acknowledged the fact that you are totally insufficient without his help. So you have other help boosters apart from him. So you are not strong in him. The greatest investment you can do for yourself is to build that intimacy with him. Hallelujah. I don't need to go to Harvard to make millions. All I need to do is, I'll just go and cry. Then he will show me one thing to invest in. That's how I, because I don't have time to struggle in the marketplace like other people. So he will just give me one insight. And I've not been able to recover from the wisdom that his voice brings. You don't need to ask me to follow the Lord. I have seen how <laughs> wonderful it is. This measured Christian life that you are doing, you are just convincing yourself that it's okay. It is only the people that are ready to dive into God that will see the fullness of his possibility. Oh my God. I see I see someone in the spirit. I see it, 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 something like a beam, but this is a beam of darkness. And the Lord shows me that you've been having strange nightmares. In fact, two nights ago, you woke up from a nightmare. It was so real. It was when you woke up, you realized that it was not in the real world. Where is that person? Two nights ago. You woke up from a nightmare. Come. It was so real. So real. So real. Do you know why those things happen? Do you have an idea? Now, so, uh, when we come for the lecture in the evening, I will show you all that things about the realm. And the way wise people pray. The way people that live long pray. There's a way they pray. There's a code they know so that things do not just 
befall them by accident. And so this is what I would do. Because there's one of you I'm trying to decode since you are more than one now. So I'll touch you like this. Touch you like this. I'll touch you like this. I will touch you like this. I'll touch you like this. Okay? Okay. Then I, I will do it again. I'll touch you like this again. Touch you like this. 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 And this. All right. Now, my hand, even though I've removed it, my hand is still on one of them. I've removed my hand. This is my hand. But my hand is still on one of them. And you will know in a moment which one. Father, show me that one upon whose head my hand still remains. So that's the lady I'm looking for. Now, are you there with me? Are you following me? You are not following me. This is practical. Follow me. Follow me. Now, this lady that is on the floor... There is a spirit that was worshipped in their family. And that spirit is haunting them even though they are born again, they are Christians now. As we go in the lecture, you will find out that inheritance is a critical matter. Jesus said, I've called you to reap where you have not sown. I've called you to straw where you have not bestowed labor. The only way that is possible is by inheritance. Are you there? So inheritance is a, is a possibility in the spirit. We'll, we'll talk about inheritance for long if we have the time. So the same way you have, are you there with me? The same way now we have access to the heritage that God was able to secure in Abraham. There are also negative inheritances that are available. There are liabilities and you need to shut them up. Don't just claim that now that you are born again, it doesn't exist. Ah. It means you are not wise. It means that you believe in the finished works of Jesus, but you don't believe in the current works of the Holy Spirit. Now, one guy was into charms and all of that. And in order for him to fortify himself, they had to dig up his sitting room remove the tile, break the concrete, enter the ground, and plant something, and they restored it. So when he gave his life to Christ, his pastor told him, you'll be born again. That thing, he said, I have, you know, if any man be in Christ, it's a new creation. All things are passed. You are in custody of the devil's thing. Okay, do you want, okay, stay with me. Are you there? Um, I hope you know the moment you give your life to Christ, holiness is God's nature and God is in. So why is it that people that are born again still committed immorality? Have you asked yourself? The reason is because they were in league with something that defiled. If we can stay, huh? are you there? That thing that they touched has the ability to defile. They stayed in that arena. That was why it was possible. So if I stay away from what can defile and I'm pressing into God, and you will see that my desire for such things will even dry up. The reason why it will dry up is because it's not sustained in Christ. Christ doesn't feed it. It's not sustained. So it's those inheritances that were responsible for the attacks that came to us whenever we get, got to the age of 21. It stopped with me because I dealt with it. My younger sisters are free. So now we want to shift this sister. I scope a lot of psychiatry. Let's go fentele. Uh, do you know what you do for me? Shake me. 
so that I can release some power on your hand. All right, so put your hand, speak in tongues, then shoot, shoot. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we cut off this open door and we shut it. We shut it. We shut it. Access to the canvas of their minds are hereby shut in the name of Jesus. All right. 